Canadian milk bags. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. All right, today's the day. I'm finally asking the question and I'm going to get my answers. Why do you purchase and drink milk from bags? But before we do, please make sure to jump on, hit that subscribe button. That would really help me out. Okay, let's go with this. Why do Canadians drink milk from bags? Okay. All right, everybody. I get numerous, numerous questions about Canadian milk bags. For those of you who don't know it, um, at least here in Ontario, when you buy a gallon of milk, you buy it in a bag like this. And this is four liters, which is roughly a gallon. You can buy milk in cartons, two liter cartons, okay. or one liter cartons as well, but you won't find a gallon jug of milk in Ontario. I can't say for the rest of the provinces, but at least in Ontario, Canada, this is how you buy your milk if you want to buy big quantities of it. So this is the milk bag, which is about a gallon. It's divided inside here. I'm going to show you. You open this up. Hold on. So the milk, the liquefied milk is in that bag. And from what she's saying, we're going to have a sneak peek, but there's four different bags inside that one four litre bag of milk. This is very, very strange. And it looks to me like she's going to pour it into that carton there. I have so many questions about this. So excited to get my answers. In Australia, we buy milk in the cartons. You've got the one litre, the two litre and the three litre. We also have long life milk which you can get off the shelves, or we have this. I've got one of these for Woolworths. Full cream milk powder. So with this, you add a portion of milk powder and some milk into a container, and then you stick it in the fridge. That makes your liquid milk. Saves a lot of money. I haven't really tried it yet. Cost of living prices in Australia are soaring through the roof. So this is something that I'm going to try. Won't tell the kids. Hopefully they don't notice the difference. There's a little one of these little yep. ties on there that has the uh, expiry date on it. I'll tell you a story you about those ties. Up, and inside are three of these bags. There's three of them. They're 1.33 liters each. And these are made with plastic and they are extremely tough. Wow. They're very, very tough. So they're not oh, yeah. fragile in any sense of the imagination. You can drop these and they won't break. Well. And they're sealed, as you can see. She's selling that around, isn't so, she? This is the milk container. I just this is the empty bag. So you take out your empty bag, and you rinse these out. And these are recyclable. Okay. And as you can see, they don't you know they don't take up too much space in the trash if you're not going to recycle them. They're All just right. a little little bag. Okay. So you take your plastic container. Now, everyone has to buy their own plastic container, but as you can uh, see, these are going to last a really long time. Yeah. They're very durable. You can get them in, they're inexpensive. The dollar store. You can get them at the dollar store, and they come in a variety of colors, so you can get the color you want. So you take your new milk bag, and then you just put it in the container. And... So you're buying milk, and you're going to throw it in a container anyway. I like how it comes in like the three little 1.3 liter, I can't remember exactly what it was, little separate little packets. Back to the story about the little tags that had the use by date. In Australia, we absolutely love those plastic tags. Unfortunately, they're starting to phase them out for wood ones because they're not sustainable. But in Australia, if you break your thongs or your pluggers, um, I think in... I'm not sure what you'd call a pair of thongs in Canada. We call them thongs or pluggers, sandals, probably your sandals. If you break your sandals, you just use that plastic tag to fix up your pluggers or your thongs and you're ready to go. It's absolutely fantastic. This little container you've got going on here, what's this clip thing here? I can see this clip thing. I'm very curious as to what that is. Let's keep on going. I give it a little tap. So make sure it's down to the bottom. And I straighten out the top like this. And you can use a pair of scissors for this, but this particular container come with this little thing that we call a snippet. A snippet, it's a snippet. It actually says snippet, that's the name brand. Okay. And it's a little razor blade 
in there. Oh, we can wow. Use this to open other things too. Like mail? But we usually keep it for just milk because it's clean and it's only used for milk. And that way, you know, when it touches the milk bag, you're not adding any nasty germs on there. So you just grab the end of the bag and then you just snip, snip it at the end. And they snip it to the, the hole at the end. Of so the bag. Tiny. You can. Oh, there's the phone. There's the, there's the phone. Okay, now the size of the hole you can vary to your preference. So if you're only pouring milk into coffee, you might want a small hole. And if you want to fill up a glass of milk quickly, you'll put a larger hole. That's a preference. And there you go. <laughs> Goes into the fridge. The container is solid. It doesn't flop over very, very much. And you can just store the little snippet right there. And what's nice about it is that the rest of your milk stays sealed and fresh yeah. in the refrigerator because you only have one liter out at a time. Okay. So there you go. There is... There right. is the mystery of the milk bag <laughs> solved. And then you just... Okay. Just pour. There you go. There you go. Alright. There is the mystery of the milk bag solved. Guys, I've got nothing against it. I think it's a pretty cool way, you know. She said the bag is recyclable. I'm still very puzzled as to why you don't pour the milk bag into the carton or the container you have there. I don't understand really the difference. <laughs> it's definitely unique. It's definitely Canadian. So I absolutely love it. This snippet, that's a cool little thing, isn't it? It's cool how it sticks on to the side of the little plastic milk jug you've got there so you don't lose it and you've always got it for your milk bag. <laughs> I'm just, um, yeah. I, <laughs> it's definitely something unique from Canada, so I absolutely love it. Guys, please leave a comment. Are you a milk bagger or do you buy milk? from the carton. Ontario based. Are milk bags available all through Canada or primarily just in the province of Ontario? Absolutely loved this video. Finally got my questions answered about Canada and milk bags. If you did, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment and remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.